question eight. The sum of two prime numbers is 85. Sum of two prime numbers is 85. What is the product of two prime? What, are, what is the product of these two prime numbers? Is the product of prime numbers. Okay, sum of two prime numbers is 85. What is the product of these two prime numbers? So let's think about what a prime number is first before we solve this problem. What is a prime number? So again, a prime number here just means the, it's a, the, the, a number is defined as a prime number if the only factors are one in itself, right? So let's see, in this case, one is a prime number, two would be a prime number, three, four would not be a prime number because I can divide that by two, three, I can only divide by three, uh, five would be the next prime number, and then six wouldn't be a prime number because it's divisible by two, and then seven, and then it. Uh, 9 would actually be divisible by uh, by 3 here. So 10 wouldn't be a 1 as well, but 11 would, and so on and so forth. And as you can look at this pattern here, if you look at specifically this pattern, um, starting from 3 here, you can realize that I don't have any even numbers, right? Because if I have an even number, um, then it would be divisible by 2, right? Except for 2, because 2 is the only even number that's a prime number, right? Because if I had, for example, 64, it's an even number. I can always divide that by two, right? Which means it, it does not qualify itself as a prime number. So in this case, um, my first kind of logic here is saying that um, uh, can only two, two is the only even number that is a prime number. Two is the only prime number that is even. Okay, sweet. And then what happens if I add two odd numbers together? So let's take, uh, and these are all odd numbers, right? So if it took three plus five here, and we're talking about the sum, right? So it's x plus y equals 85, right? So I'm saying let x be the first number, let y be the second number here, right? So that's kind of my thing here. And if, if x and y were both odd, so if they're both odd, what result would I get, right? So again, if I have three plus five, again, they're both odd numbers. If I add both of these numbers together, I would get eight, right? And that's an even number. If I added five and seven together, I would get 12, which is also an even number. And seven plus 11, both odd numbers, would give me 18, which is an even number. So we can say that our second rule is that if we added, adding two odd numbers would give us an even number which means that my both numbers here cannot be odd right because if it's odd it would give me even number and here at 85 85 is an odd number right which means okay right, i have your x plus y equals 85 right so in this case my both numbers can't be odd which means one of my numbers and the only odd number that's um so the only even number is prime is two, which means one of my numbers has to equal two, right? So in this case, x, I'll say x two plus y equals 85, right? Which means my x here, therefore, therefore x equals two, right? Just because um, if I added any other odd number in this case, it would add to an even, right? One plus three would equal four. One plus five is six. One plus seven is eight. One plus 11 is 12, right? Again, these rule applies, right? So again, here I have, which means therefore one of my numbers has to be two. So two, two plus y equals 85. Now I have one. Uh, I, only, I only need to solve for one variable, variable, right? So I have two plus y equals 85. I can move two to the other side here and say that y equals 85, and then I'm subtracting two from both sides, right? Minus two, right? And the y would equal 83, which means um, my, my two numbers here are are, uh, are two and 83. And then I'd say asking our last, uh, it says, what is the product of these two prime numbers? So again, um, you can check if 83 is prime. I know that 83 is prime. Um, I, I, the product of these two numbers, but product of x, y, would give me, so this would be two times 83, or sorry, let me write it here, two times 83, which equals 166, and that's gonna be my answer for this problem here. And they have 166 as well. 
um, they use the same logic as I did, which is great. Um, only one number is prime. No, only one even prime number is two. And if we add two odd numbers, the result is even, right? So that's good. Um, I'm going to say that uh, the solution is good. Good, great solution and logic. But I would use variables to help me um, identify what the two numbers, two numbers, numbers would have been. Just because we're on this topic of of algebra, I used we we're more used to seeing variables here. That's what I would do. I would choose to use the variables here. Some say solutions correct. Yeah.